and the weekly tournament. Here goes. I have 18 high card points, uh, which seems pretty strong until you realize that four of those high card are in the two red suits. Uh, to confirm it, I just count losers. I've got one, two, three, four, five. I've got six losers. So it's a strong hand, but it's not as strong as it seems with the 18 high card points. Uh, so I'll call it a probably a kind of a moderate hand, moderately strong hand, not a maximum. Yeah, so. I think I can justify inviting my partner by bidding three clubs to show, uh, to sh basically show my second suit, all right, uh, and uh, that I'm wanting to go, wanting to explore game. Okay, in turn, he's showing me that he's got something in the hard suit, so I guess I can just justify for spades. Um, likely one loser in hearts, two losers in diamonds. And because of the club lead, I think I'm not likely to have losers in clubs. Let's see. Yep, so basically I've got top three uh, tricks in clubs now. So I think I can draw trumps. So the key here is probably in the bidding itself. The play, the play once started is probably straightforward. No more trumps. So I haven't lost any trick yet. I will lose one trick in. Uh, uh, well, well. Yeah, most likely I can't avoid the two diamond. I can't avoid the two diamond losers. I can't avoid the lahat loser. So I might as well just. Uh, uh, Let's claim. All right. So the key here is going to force fates in the first place, I think. And only four of us went. Actually, no, the others went too, but it went down. Uh, I won't check why. Let's move on. Uh, 12. I don't think I can justify doing anything, uh, despite the fact that I, well, in a way, this is not entirely a opening hand actually. I have twelve plus. It's yeah, it's not it's not even an opening hand. So I think I'll pass. Okay. Um. I am going to lead. Okay, so I'm going to assume that uh, the opponent's points preponderance are on my left. Okay, and I'm going to assume, I mean, the assumption may be false, but I'm going to assume that my partner has some honors for me. So I'm going to keep this ace and I'm going to keep this king here. And I'm going to lead a club in the hope of developing the club suit. Ace is here. The fact that uh, so it's quite likely, I think, the uh, king of clubs is in my partner's hand. So I would I would duck once. And I'll assume my partner has a king, possibly. I duck in order to, oh, even better. I duck in order to uh, basically uh, let the opponents lead. Right? So it's a passive kind of uh, uh, move. So there's a king up there. So I think my opponent's probably voided in clubs by now. This might mean that my partner has a queen of diamonds. So I'm going to cover. 
Yep, void in your cards, all right? I'm just going to let myself be roughed. I'm going to play the diamonds. Yes. Remember, I, I noted that uh, my partner probably had a queen, uh, queen, right? And I think that's basically it. All right. So in this case, uh, I basically started off playing relatively passively and uh, let the opponent tangle up in, in trouble, All right? Uh, 13 high cut points. Um, well, nothing for it but this. I basically have a flat and minimum hand, so I think I could bid something, but I think it will probably be overbidding. For example, if I did this, it's a reverse, right? Not very good, right? Uh, and if there's nothing else I can bid, I can put two no trump, but I think that would be rather speculative. In any case, my opponents have probably eight hearts, nine, ten, and my partner has three hearts, most likely. And he has a stop, at least one stop, one good stop at that. Otherwise, he wouldn't bid like that, I think. So I think I'm going to pass. Okay. So the ace comes out, these three black uh, spades are all good spades, so to speak, although my right hand side only has two. Two rounds of uh, hard leads. Um, okay. That's 11. I'm guessing my opponent now has only two traps left. A, Okay, I'm going to do it one more time. I may get rough. Oh, I will get roughed. Okay, one more time. Because I, I want the opponent to play clubs to me, right? Uh, like I said. Okay. All right. Uh, 15 high cut points and I do really have a nice diamond suit um, this is a hand that belies its 15 high cut points because I have an ace, king, queen and 10, 5, 4 in diamonds uh, if my partner has some diamonds in his hand, as is likely because the opponent opened with three spades, right? So we are looking at the distribution of all the other side suits shoved along into hearts, clubs, and diamonds. So it's entirely possible that uh, these diamonds, all six of them could be winners. Now, the problem is if I bid four diamond, that commits me to trying for a six. Sorry, that commits me to trying for a five diamond contract, uh, which might be rather high given that my partner has passed. Um, on the other hand, I have an ace and queen of spades in my hand. So I could take a chance on a 3-0 trump. 
it's risky. I, I will have to say this. But it allows me to go to game in a lower contract. Uh, will my partner have stops in uh, the two, the hearts and cups? I think it may not. But if he does, this might be a, a fairly, how shall we say, spectacular contract to make. On the other hand, I could just get a bottom board. <laughs> let's, let's give it a try. Oh, okay. All right. Um, I'm going to take it. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So there's probably two spades on my on my right. I'm gonna take this. I might have been a tad over ambitious, I'm afraid. Um let's try this. Like I said, I I was I would be either a hero or a zero in this. And I think it's looking likely that I'm a zero. And the rest of mine. Despite the crazy, well, slightly crazy risk I took, uh, I still scored 57%. Interesting, isn't it? Actually, leaving uh, him alone with three spades was the best choice. Uh, but everyone else tried for diamond, uh, a diamond contract and they didn't do very well. I was the only one with a four heart contract, which I went down, but it was, still wasn't too bad. Uh, it was a little bit crazy, but I thought I'd try this once in a while. All right. Uh, yeah. Let's move on. Um, right. Looks like my partner doesn't have much at all. Uh, West doubled and East jumped. All right, so together they may have 20 or more points. Uh, so I'm going to pass. I'm going to lead a king out of a king queen. Because it's kind of a passive kind of lead. Because I, yeah, it doesn't hurt to lead that. So now my queen is a winner. All right. Uh, there was a club this card. So there's a possibility of. My clubs being, oh no, not yet, not yet. Okay. Oh, not yet. Interesting. All right. All right, he's down one. I've got 14 high cut points, a decent shape. So this is a fairly good opening hand. Except that it looks like my opponents, again, 
have at least 20 points between them and my partner has nothing much. Uh, I do have a singleton club though. Uh, this 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 two spade by the way is showing a club support. All right. Um, I'm non val against their val. Uh, I could potentially try to. But okay, let's let's pass and see what West will bid. Okay, West bids clubs, so I can double for take up. I hope I'm not too aggressive here. Alrighty. Um, one loser in clubs, one loser in spades. Uh, possibly a couple in hearts. If I'm lucky, it's just a one. Uh, yeah, so I think that was a good choice. Again, I'm going to pat myself on the back. Control charms. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Um, oh, I was drawing charms too fast, right? I forgot about the clubs. Uh, yeah. Okay, this is about, this is the thing about playing real time, right? You forgot all these things. Might as well. Okay, I'm going to try finesse. And that's it. Okay, 14 high cut points, uh, again in a pretty nice shape, so I think I'm going to repeat two hearts. So opponents have shown a fit in diamonds now, so um, and my partner has doubled. Um, I've already rebidded my heart, so but this is a like a soft six card. Uh, it could actually mean five five good cards. I actually have six. Or I could bid this, right? But um I don't think so. I think I'm gonna rebid my heart suit. Ah, this definitely shows his uh, long and spades, so I'm going to just follow his lead and uh, confirm it. Okay, my diamond is a, I have a dead certain one loser there, a one loser in hearts, maybe a couple in clubs. Uh, but, uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. I might be able to get rid of. I might be able to get rid of my club losers with my hearts if I get the chance. I'm gonna have to draw chance first. Here we go. Okay, that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. Mm -hmm. I have okay, I only can afford to lose one more. So okay, uh here's what to do. I'm gonna just do this one round. Two rounds, that's eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Last one. 
Okay, and three of hearts is out. So it's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's three more hearts out there. So clearly, I can. Run all this out. Already twenty one high cut points. Otherwise, it's a relatively flat hand, but I do note that my uh, diamond suit is particularly good to no trumps. Texas transfers to uh, spades. And that's it. Um, wow. Okay. Um, I can use my diamonds to discard all my losers, provided I get a chance to. So I'm going to have to draw trumps. All right. Um, yeah, I definitely have to draw trumps before I even try to tr start drawing my diamonds. Hmm. But just in case, I'll cut down one club loser. Okay. Um, continue drawing trumps. It's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. One more. And I can claim the rest. Ah, fifty-three percent. Okay, I'll take it. Um, well, okay, I can't get the results, but never mind. Uh, I have seventy-one percent, so it should be a pretty good one. All right, see you next week.